Here's guys, has life. Boys and dead toys. The Wim C. The Zs. The new. Cylinder head. That's not bad. Some screws to screw around. And rings. Gaskets. What is it? Metal gasket, that's new. Stelvio and Super G don't have metal gaskets. They only have these four. Ooh. What are we doing with so many gaskets? Five paper and two metal ones. Piston rings, clips. Pin. And look at this. Interesting. Uh huh. Ooh. So this sits inside. Ooh, that's fancy schmancy. Look at this. This is <laughs> small inside it. So the seat is lower. And the groove for the ring is outside, and here it is in the manifold. Let me see. What I've got here is a Super G, so we can put some parts together to compare it directly. So that's the Super G piston. This is the Chrono Meteor piston. It has this pocket, it has another hole here, but compared to other brands who think that they need so many holes around the pin, this beam is thick, it's not that thin, it's thick, and even from the inside. And also here, that's a proper thick beam, it's, it's even ankled inside, and yeah, also look here. This is thinner, this is thicker. And the other side. Same picture. Thinner beam, still okay. It's a efficient, cheap piston. It's the same in the Super G and Stelvio, but this is definitely stronger. That's the MP number. Where is it, Meteor Piston? It's inside here, and both port window is the same. All you see here is that there's an upper beam. I'm not a piston professional, I just like to compare things.
that was the piston. I got the head. No seal ring at the chrono, and I measured it just a little bit. Um, it is a different shape here. Looks like high compression, at least, let's say. Two and a half millimeter wider, this one, so this is less compression. But that's just a rough estimation. So if you have a, ne if you have a negative geometry here, we don't need a ring, of course. So this stands inside the cylinder. Outside, same as the stereo. Seems like for a temperature sensor. There are also quite some different VMC177 cylinder head here for the Stelvio or for the Super G. That's the cast iron. And this is a CNC machine. You hear it. Piston cylinder head, now the cylinder itself. I compared the size of the transfer ports. On this side, this one is wider. You can see what did I measure inside. 37.3, this is 41.5. So that's nearly 4 millimeters more. And the ports are definitely different. You have here, these edges here, round shape, and here you have a straight shape. Wait, I marked it on the other side. Here you have a round shape, and here you have straight shape and different. So, ports definitely different. Also, the Boost port is a bit different. If you look inside here, this window is bigger. This one's smaller. Yeah, they're also not that wide as it is here. What about transfer port outlets? That's the Super G and the Stelvio. This one it does look different. This is also wider. So it's definitely bigger. Four or five millimeter bigger transfer port. And with the exhaust port we have that side exhaust channels here. We don't have that with the Super G. Now, going to make a blueprint to directly compare the port sizes, exhaust port size, and then we're going to mount it on an LML reed valve case to measure the cylinder timings. Jeez, guys. On top, it's higher. You know, it needs five millimeters more because that's a 110 Conrad 
what's needed and this is the standard 1 out of 5 for peaks 125 doesn't have this edge it has now look at this they are next to the cylinder bolts oh by the way cylinder bolts the first version I had of the Super G had not thoroughly drilled cylinder bolt bores but that was difficult so these holes were a little bit tiny they had a narrow spot cylinder bolts something gets stuck here it's just on this side and also here so this should be redrilled this is a seven I'll show you then pictures where it approximately gets stuck Cheers guys, I didn't make a blueprint, I did measure the cylinder and now it is mounted on an LNML Blah. <laughs> Once again, quite some beers. It is an LML reed case, reed valve, reed valve intake. So the VMC Chrono is mounted. That's a rotary valve, 200 crankshaft, it has the needed 110 millimeter con rod. I used a conversion bearing for the piston pin so that the 125 50 millimeters fit into a 60 millimeter con rod eye of a 200 crank. So, what we just need to measure here we don't need fancy discs here whatever etc and wire pointers we just measure you know my guides how i do timings we just measure piston below top and we're good i mounted the vmc without a gasket and i already know spoiler why there are so many gaskets coming with the cylinder kit because you need them so let's measure piston below top piston below top pbt as i call it piston cylinder tightened i like primary Springs they work very well with the seven cylinder bolts and you just go up to the top that center always measure PBT um, where the chondro sits not here I mean 
wouldn't be such a difference. But let's be precise. And I'll do this one, two, three times, and then divide it. Take the average, and in this case, we do have. 1.8 already written here. What does it mean? It means as the cylinder head geometry here has two millimeters, this wouldn't work without a bottom gasket. Let's say we want to have one millimeter squish, so this means we need to lift the cylinder 1.2 millimeter. We got a 1, a 0 0.5, so if you use the two metal ones, it's 1.5, so you've got a squish of 1, 2, 1, 3, and this is healthy. So, that was it. Rest calculated. Later on, put in the video. Have a good one. If you like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe, guys. Cheers, see ya. Ein <lacht> Biest! Sorry, ja. Bist du deppert? Ist das ein Biest jetzt? <lacht>